Hello, my name is Tim Lurch, and I'm here with my good friend, John Stoll. Say hi, John. Tim, great to be here with you. I'm in Portland, Oregon. Tim is in Seattle, and in this new normal, we're trying some online collaborations. We hope you enjoy them. Our idea today is to uh, talk a little bit, play a little bit. We're going to try something uh, because this uh, theme of this uh, series is going to be conversations. We're going to try something that I think that the, uh, the, the technology will allow where uh, John will play something, uh, maybe eight bars of a tune, and then I'll play the same tune of continuing on from where he left off, and we'll play kind of back and forth that way, like a kind of conversation where we're not interrupting each other. And um, you'll be able to hear uh, maybe the differences between our approaches or the commonalities between our approaches. And then we'll talk about a little bit about what we did and how we thought about these things. So. <laughs> Saying, I think it's really powerful to learn how to utilize the shapes that you use to the greatest extent so you can really get the most out of your grips. <laughs> right? Wouldn't you agree, John? Absolutely. The other thing is. I think, in my experience, the best way to retain new shapes, you can agree or disagree, I'd, I'd love to get your take on this, Tim, is to put a chord, a new chord, or a new series of three or four chords in a context, because they're great uh, chord, chord um, inversion, chord, chord books, essentially, from people like Ted Green, Mick Goodrick. Uh, Mick Goodrick did a great couple with Tim Miller, but it's pages of unfamiliar fingering. So I think what you might want to do is pull three or four unfamiliar new shapes out of a chord book, use them in a context, either a chord melody arrangement or a two, five, one, then you can retain and remember those shapes. So I'm just gonna sit for hours and use that. Just see what kind of melodic extensions and, and things I can get out of that put it in different keys, play around with it all over, really work it so that when it comes time for me to do that on a gig or in a session with somebody, then it's there for me. Agreed. And I could have spent an hour and a half learning 14 different things and never really get any of them to the point where I can use them. Or I can spend my hour and a half taking that one and really exploring it deeply. So, so I'm fascinated by, th by this. <laughs> That C major to A. Yes. That's it. Yeah, and, and, and how can we use that? Like you, you at, at question, how can we use that? How can we understand it um, to use it again in some other way that might be even an original composition or a reharmonization or something like that? Absolutely. Can I make it? 